Hey guys, welcome back to Closet Raid. Today I'm super excited because I have Michelle with me. And Michelle and I met at Stride, and Stride is a workout place in Pasadena. It's amazing, 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, and I'm just so excited to raid her closet. I came straight from a photo shoot, so I have a crazy makeup look on. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. But tell me a little bit about your personal style. Okay, well, this is a little out of my element because you know I trained Jasmine. I helped her with nutrition and fitness, um, but I've always been into fashion. So um, I kind of try to like weave it into my lifestyle as much as I can because I'm always sweaty. I'm always active. I'm most of the time in workout clothes. Always so, on the go. Always on the go. <laughs> I've got you know a son that plays baseball, so usually if I'm not working, I'm on a sweaty, dusty field. <laughs> but I always, you know, I want to feel still feminine yeah. and cute and put together, put together as yeah. much as possible. So. Um, I try to do things like accessorize or find a really cute handbag um, and that, you know, just to mix things up a little Yeah, bit. you always look cute. You have the cutest workout clothes. Okay. Do you have anything like that's your go-to right now that you're running to, like your favorite? Um, as far as workout clothes are concerned, I really like Lorna Jane. Um, they're always coming out with new styles. Um, yeah. They're an Australian-based company, so that makes it a little different. Um, I've actually known about them for a really long time when I lived in Singapore, so I discovered them years and years before anyone else did. She found it first. I know, right. <laughs> um, the, so then I, I like their you stuff. You have some of their stuff here. I do. Um, oh my God, I love my, this. Really cute. Style. It's such a um, fun. And it has this, the fun um, Lorna Jane logo down the side. So just, I love the little details, and the cool thing about activewear now, it's like we used to be have to just wear Nike or borrow, you know, our boyfriend stuff, but mm -hmm. now it's cute and technical. So yeah. you can run in these, you know, I do stride in these, I teach spin in these, and they're holding you in. Um, it's compression. And then you separate. can like go out and have a drink and go hang out and like afterwards and still be very like fashionable. Like athleisure is such a huge huge thing now like everyone's always in workout gear which is so fun yeah I mean you could throw on a jean jacket or you know like a kind of motorcycle jacket I've worn with that and just yeah. you know, look really cute it looks so super put together and adorable yeah and you have so many here do you I have know. a favorite pair of workout pants so or like a favorite set my favorite set and I love this brand it's called ultra core and I think they just nailed the whole technical um, stylish and um, make you feel good aspects. So I have two of their unitards. Like so they're part of, they're beautiful. so cute. Um, so great for yoga when you're doing having to, to do some of those inversions, and even for spin because a lot of times you know the stuff rides up and it's comfortable. Um, and it's like I mean, soft. I feel it's like, so like, soft, you guys. It's such skip. a cute print. I love this floral one, really and she has a star oh, one. Yes. Where is it? Star at? session one. Where's oh my gosh. We, we said it. Here. Uh, right there, yes. She's right here. Look at the stars. I don't know if you guys can like see this on camera, but they're like shiny little stars. This is so fun because it can be kind of edgy or kind of like playful. I just love this piece. Yeah, it's really great. And you can throw like a little crop sweatshirt over it. And again, you could wear it out. It's super, yeah, it's really cute. I love, I love it. it. I love it. Yeah. So if you weren't like on the typical like grind and you were going out and you wanted to get super dolled up, maybe it's like date night or girls night out, what would you throw <laughs> on? Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> so let's see, what do I have? I kind of have like a boho chic style. I love wearing, um, you know, sundresses. But then if I wanted to, you know, I don't know, doll it up, I've got... <gasps> Ooh, love oh, wow. this little number. Yeah. So pretty. Super and fun. Really um, and then I'll have like, you know, things that with a pop of color. ALC is one of my, I just oh, this one right there. So yellow. Yeah, yellow has been kind of my obsession lately. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the brands I really like, just like, because I feel like it fits an athletic body, is ALC. Um, so if they have something, um, I usually <laughs> That's <laughs> try to grab adorable. It. I'm obsessed Super with cute. that. I love the color and I love that it has like the little ruffle sleeve. Yes. So um, I mean, I'm, I'm again yeah, tropical. We go to Hawaii a lot, so one of my actually favorite ones. Oh, that is so fun and colorful. This is an Amara Hoffman, so I just I don't know, kind of just reminds me of Moroccan and I don't know. It's just really fun. That is so fun, it's and really I good. feel like with the killer tan, this is the perfect base. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're ready for we're ready for our tan. I'm ready for vacation. So um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you travel a lot. Like you go to Hawaii a lot, and you go. Um, what's like your airport look? Like what do you throw on? Honestly, I will wear something like this or I'll wear sort of a jogger, um, mm -hmm. just a looser fit. And I have to show you, I got this and I wasn't sure because, you know, fanny packs <gasps> can be 80s, but I'm this obsessed. is my so favorite, cute. favorite piece. Oh my gosh. Um, 
I wear it to the airport because you can stick your passport, your ID, and it's just zip and your camera, you go, everything, your phone, like, everything. Um, but I also love going to, this, to the baseball games. So I'm a big Dodger fan. My and my son plays baseball, like I said, and I just don't like having a bunch of stuff on me. Yeah. Um, or setting stuff down because it's really dusty. Yeah. So, and you never like you you'll forget things. Like that's how I am. I'm so forgetful. I'll, like set it down and walk away. But like that's so. Like I feel like it's so cute, but it's so practical, which That's is like what exactly me. Yeah, like <laughs> what you need in life. Like that is like a fun bougie way to be practical. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love that. And like, do you have a piece in your wardrobe that's maybe like really sentimental or like dear to your heart, something special like that? Um, I do have a bag. I so this is where is it? Oh, I mean it's. Beautiful. Really pretty. I got it for um, for my husband for our tenth from our tenth anniversary. So it's just I don't know. It looks vintage. It's not. It's by Aditi, and you can't really fit much in it. But when we, you know, if we're going to something that's black tie, I just you know I always look at it. It makes me happy. It so. does look it's vintage really and just like so. It's so beautiful. I love so. that piece. It, yeah, it's sparkling, very bright. That's so beautiful. Look how this fits right in my hand. Yeah, that's like sitting. Can't put your phone in there, but. <laughs> Do you have anything in your closet that you would never throw on, but you don't want to part with it? Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I'm such a little hoarder. Like, I love to like, hold on to things and like I never wear them. That is a, a great question. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. I try to wear everything that I have in my closet. I love that. I'm so proud um, of people who live that life. <laughs> and there are a few things. Really because I don't love it, but it's so freaking complicated. Like, it's, it's, an, it's a Gucci piece and like you have to kind of tie the neck in the right way or yeah. it looks like a big bow. So I, I will put it on sometimes and I'm like, okay, tonight's the night. And then yeah. I have it on and I'm like, ah, oh, like it just, yeah. There's so, always but I can't part with it. piece. Yes. It's a beautiful color and it's a really fun piece, but I feel like there's always that piece that you put it on and then you're like, no, and then you take it off. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I think I put this on probably three or four times and I'm like, okay, this is the night. And then, <laughs> then she's canceled. Yes. <laughs> yes. But that's such a cute, and I want to look through. Again, like I like just finding things with a little detail and edgy, like you know, this Lorna Jane here. I love that that has lace. That's lace all lace. So fun. In the front and then in the back. And I love this color. This color yes. is so great. The little crops from, this is Lulu, yeah. I, this is fun because Lulu. it has like the little detail in the back. I don't know, like that's just like a little like peekaboo, like it's still yes. kind of sexy. You tie it, you can leave yeah. it open. I yes. love that. Super fun. Um, Oh, and then I love oh, aloe. Yeah. This is such a good piece. Aloe is definitely like one of my faves at the moment because of, again, like the detail. It's so mm -hmm. cute. I love this piece. And I feel like you can make it very rock star and very edgy and you can just kind of, that's like so fun. Yes. If you had like one piece in your wardrobe that describes you the most, like which piece would that be? Oh my goodness. Um, I guess I would probably say this. Oh my gosh. It's my, like and I, it's after my own heart. A um, leather jacket. My motorcycle jacket. Um, it's practical, but it's a little edgy. And I, I feel like you can wear this with like a sundress or even like a little black dress. So it just costs us so much. I, Literally I everything. Like if yes. you guys need one staple piece, it's a good leather jacket. You can throw on jeans, sundresses, like you said, like something mm -hmm. dainty, kind of mm -hmm. like the juxtaposition is so fun. You can yes. do like a lacy little slip dress and then throw that on. It's even like workout clothes, throw it on. Yes. That's like the go-to. I love that. <laughs> That's Practical, such a good but piece. cute, yes. And what about, okay, we need to talk about bags. You have such oh, yes. an amazing sure, bag collection. Yes. Um, what is your favorite bag? Um, actually, it's behind you. Okay, so this is actually, oh, a coincidence that two of my most sentimental things are bags. This um, I got on my 40th birthday trip to Italy oh. um, in Rome. So, so it's so pretty, and but again, it's practical. I can throw a ton of things in there. If I wanted to put my laptop in there, I could. And it has these little knots. Mm -hmm. It's all hand woven, so it's unique as well. So um, whenever I carry so it, I, feel like I get compliments all the time. I just I love it. So this one, um, I, I actually might say this for Fourth of July. That is such a cute print too. I'm such a print person. Like I'm not afraid to play with prints, and I love that you have like so many fun florals and different. Prince, I see. I yes. love that. I love that. Um, just gonna, um, oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. Super classic. Mm -hmm. um, but just, I love the detail on the bottom. It's like laser cut. Mm -hmm. 
so um, I've worn this to a couple summer parties. That's like a gorgeous classic silhouette. I love it. I see a jacket with a like text. What is that? I got this forever ago. That has such old Lululemon stuff, but it has like the, all, their mantra on there. This is so all sick. I love this. This like stood out. Like I was like eyeballing over there. I was like, oh, this is so different and fun. Like it's, it's just a, I think, yeah. Again, like just a fun, mm -hmm. it's really warm. Um, Love it. Like it's soft them. and cozy and like one of those like fluffy, comfy pieces. <laughs> and if you throw them on with a pair of leggings, like it just actually gives you that little extra. <laughs> we have a great shoe collection. Yes. What is your favorite heel and favorite flat or okay. sneaker? The, my favorite sneaker to wear just to kick it around are like, Adidas. Like I love Adidas. I'm Simos. such yeah. an Adidas girl. Yes. Oh, I but these are really fun because I've got the little, um, I think the flowers on this side. That's really cute. I love the detail. And they come out with like different like specialty like capsules and like so many different collections. <laughs> but these, I just, I mean, they, they're, they're edgy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you dipped your toe into some silver. And, yeah. Um, they're not super high. But the fact they're a slingback and they're white, they kind of have like a little femininity tone. So I just, I love them. I think yeah. they're just. These are bad. Ass. Like these are like cool girl shoes, like officially. Yes. So they're um, again one of my my favorites. And yeah, unique and fun. I love these. So my favorite flats are not that exciting, but I love Javianas. I have so many. Um, they, for whatever reason, are the most comfortable flip flop that they I are. can wear. My feet are super flat, so if um, I have a choice, I would wear these 24/7. They feel like you're like not even wearing anything. They're just so comfy. Yes. They're the best. <laughs> Okay, so let's, should we sit down and chat a little bit? Let's I have that. some fun questions for you. Okay. I'm excited to, okay, so I have some fun questions for you okay. and I'm excited to do this because food and fashion are my two favorite things. And <laughs> so I have food and fashion <laughs> questions for you. Okay. Okay, so they're all this or that. So they're just like easy. Okay. So okay. chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Heels or flats? Heels. Grilled chicken or fried chicken? Grilled. <laughs> Designer or thrifted? Designer. <laughs> Chips or ice cream? Oh, ice cream. <laughs> That's always it a depends. hard one. It right? You're in my mood. Exactly, <laughs> both. Um, long nails or short nails? Short. Um, bikini or one piece? Bikini. Heavy eye or a dark lip when you're doing makeup? Dark lip. Daytime or nighttime? Nighttime. Gold or silver? Silver. Lash strips or lash extensions? Extensions. Texting or talking on the phone? Texting. Shopping online or shopping at the mall? I, have, I love shopping in person, <laughs> but I have no time, so I online. prefer shopping. Yes, online, yeah. online, yes. Um, planned out or spontaneous? Um, planned out, I'm a kind of a planner, yeah. That's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> Black and white or color? Color, always color. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Always coffee. <laughs> And lastly, just a fun one, celebrity crush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> who's, a, um, who's the babe? You know who I always thought was cute is that McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy. Like Patrick, oh, Patrick Dempsey. I don't yeah. like I just. Yes, yes, 100%. Okay, you have, you prepared, usually I'll bring like junk food or something bad, but you prepared something so yummy. Tell us what this is. So this is my snack obsession lately. It's from Creation Foods. There's one here in Pasadena. I believe there's one in Santa Monica too. There's like so many in like on the west side, the west like side. on Melrose and like, I think, yeah, there's like so many over there, but we got one. Oh my yes, God, we got one. And, and I, I love it for their salads and their snacks. Um, they have this bread, it's called Paleo Bread. No grains, it's made with almond flour, coconut milk, apple cider vinegar. I'm so ready eggs. to try yes. it. And I put some almond butter on it. And um, usually I have some berries, sometimes I'll like smash some raspberries on top and it tastes like peanut butter and jelly. So That's the best little yes. hack. For yes. Me. I'm gonna try this. Try it. And um, you know, since Jasmine is, is still on her on her healthy mm -hmm. journey, so. Mmm. Good, right? Mm-hmm. I tried to send them an email so I thought, there's no way that something this good can be that healthy. Yum. <laughs> but. That's like such a treat. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's so good. And like, while we're on this, tell me a little bit about MC Fit and like all of your stuff that you have going on. Okay. Um, so I've been a trainer for 13 years. I kind of had to pick it up by default because when my son, my son was, was 14, when he was born, well, I still loved working out, but he hated going to the gym mm -hmm. with me. And he would cry in the daycare. They would call me after 10 minutes and like, you know, get your kid. <laughs> so I would, and then I would just try to work out outside, like figure it out on my own. And then one day, 
um, at this like a stroller strides person found me they're like hey would you want to start teaching classes so I thought okay and I got my certification and all it was was just moms and babies for the longest time and then now my son is older and it's evolved and I have got my own business um, I became a nutritionist as well mm -hmm. and I That's have so cool yeah it's 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 just my passion and I, I love it um, and I developed a program um, called the MC fit method it's a 21 day program for basically busy women that um, you know, can't don't have the time to go to the gym. They can do it in the convenience of your own home with very little equipment. It comes with a full nutrition pro program too. So it's kind of an all-in-one um, program where you just it takes the guesswork out of it. You get your, your emails in your email. You get the workout every morning. Yeah, and in the well, it works. That's the main thing. Like it's, it's if you do it, if you do it, if you do it, it works. Yes. Yes, and the workouts are no longer than you know 30, 40 minutes a day, so you're not killing yourself. What would you it. say is like your biggest inspiration, like in terms of like being fit and being super healthy? Like what inspires you and motivates you? Um, it may sound really corny, but it's it's my kid. You know, I no, I don't think that's corny no, at okay. all. It's okay. so like yeah, that's the most beautiful thing. Yes. Uh, I want to obviously lead by example, but I also want to be that mom that can run around with them, that can ski, that can play catch. I mean, now he's so much faster and all that than <laughs> me, but I've always been active and it's been great to, to share all those things with him. And, yeah. um, I, you know, the other day we were watching that, um, that Ninja Warrior, that yeah. show, and he's like, Mom, do you think if you trained, you could do that? I'm like, <laughs> never, I know in my head, like, never in a million years, uh, I'm you could totally do that. And I'm like, I'm so flattered that you would even think that I could do that. <laughs> That's so cute. So that show is crazy. I, I've seen it, yes. it's like a wild. <laughs> so he's my inspiration, he's my motivation. What would your, like, top tips be? Like, maybe two or three things that kind of will help someone, like, reset and, like, get, get on track? Um, I think the number one thing is you didn't mess up. You cannot mess up. The only way you can mess up is if you give up completely, right? We all have those days where, you know, we've had too many chips, had the pizza, um, but the, I mean, all that matters is the next day. Do something, move. It doesn't have to be the most hardcore workout, but you have your lifetime. So just don't go in that spiral of like, I'm bad, I'm fat, I'm gross. It'd be great like if you had a, someone that you could call, like your best friend, your mom, if it's a trainer that, that could just could go with you. It's, it's always great to have a support system, but. Yes, that's like such a good key or like little hack, like going with a friend or going with somebody to encourage you and then you hold each other accountable. accountable. And you're like, oh, I can't let them down, so I have to go, I can't flake. <laughs> yes, you have to believe that you can change your body and I've seen it happen so many times just with people that just were consistent. Last don't... question. Yes. Okay, what, where's your favorite healthy restaurant and your favorite like junk kind of like treat? Locally, my favorite healthy place is True Food. Um, so it's an good. old town, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and I, I mean, I love eating all kinds of food and I think my, my philosophy is you can go anywhere. I mean, literally to like the diviest Mexican restaurant and figure out a healthy meal, Yeah, you can. And then the junkiest, I love Mexican food, so mm -hmm. I'll have to say there, and it's it's really like all about the chips and guacamole and salsa, so, so pretty good. much any Mexican place. Yeah, <laughs> it's the best, yes. so good. So good. Um, and where can everyone keep up with you? Um, Instagram, Michelle Cannon Fit. Um, that's the best place, and on my website is michellecannonfit.com. And that'll all be linked down in the description, so make sure you guys follow her, especially if you want like health and fitness tips, because every day when I'm scrolling, it's like the best inspiration. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you. It was so much fun. Comment down below. Make sure you let us know what your favorite thing in her closet was, or maybe what your favorite snack is, since this is like a fun, different kind of episode. And be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys next week. Bye.